Since we don't have enough methods yet to compute power sum trace evaluations, I thought I'd give you another one. This involves different tableau called record-free row semi-strict tableau. We call a p-tableau record-free if each row has no p records other than the first element, which trivially is a p record. So for example, let's let p be this familiar post set and let's let lambda be 3 1 so we'll look at record free row semi strict tableau of shape 3 1 So if we have four in the second row, then one, two, three have to be somewhere in the first row in some order. Let's see if this works. This is certainly row semi-strict. Two is not greater than one. Three is not greater than everything we've seen so far. So that works. Now. 3 is greater than everything we've seen so far. 3 is a record, so 1 is a record, 3 is a record, so that doesn't count as record-free. So this is row semi-strict, we're never going down in the post set, and 3 is not greater than 2, so 2 is the only record, the only P record, so that one works. This one is not row semi-strict because we have three greater than one. All right, we can't say three, one, two because that wouldn't be row semi-strict. We can do three, two, one. Three is not greater than two, two is not greater than one. Three is the only record in that row. So here's our, these are three tableau that, have, uh, that are record free. Now if we have 3 by itself and 1, 2, and 4, 4 is greater than 1 and 2, so it's going to be a record wherever it appears, so it has to appear first. But then since it's greater than 1 and greater than 2, we can't have 1 next and we can't have 2 next. So I think 3 is just not going to be able to be in the second row by itself. What if 2 is? Then we have 1, 3, 4 somewhere. Well, 3 and 4 are both greater than 1 in the post set, so they would be records. Whatever comes after 1 is going to be a record, so 1 can't be first. But then if something else comes first and it's greater than 1, then we don't have something that's row semi-strict, so that's not going to work. So I think 2 in the second row is not going to work either. So let's look at 1 in the second row. And I'll erase all these things that didn't work. two, three, four. We have no records other than two, and we're never going down in the post set. Two, four, up. Oh, four is a record because four is greater than everything that came before it. Three, two, four is legal because we're never going down in the post set, and four is not greater than three. So three is, is the only record. One, four, three, two. Four is definitely the only record, and this is row semi strict because we're never going strictly down in the post set. And we can't do four, two, three, because that would be going down from four to two, so it wouldn't be row semi strict. 
So these are these are the six record-free row semi-strict tableau of shape three one. So the theorem of Threshian wax and Athanasiades I shouldn't call this completely their theorem because again they didn't know that they were evaluating traces at cash down listing basis elements. For them this is just a coefficient and a in the quantum chromatic symmetric function. So it really takes a paper I wrote with, with my advisees to, to take to get this result completely. So let's we'll fix lambda and W avoiding three four one two four two three one. Then the power sum trace evaluation of the Kajdan Lustig basis element CW equals a sum over U record free and row semi strict Q to the number of inversions in the one row tableau we get by taking first row of U, second row of U, etc., in that order. So if we apply this, so for example, let's let W be 2, 3, 4, 1. So the post set of FW is this post set, which we just wrote the tableau for. Now we have to figure out how many inversions are there in the one tableau we get by reading first row first and then second row second. So for this tableau, we have one, two, three, four. I guess I can write down all the one load, one row tableau. Two, one, three, four. And then three, two, one, four, two, three, four, one. Three, two, four, one. And four, three, two, one. All right, definitely no inversions here because there's no indices that get less. 2, 1 is a possible inversion here, and that actually does count as an inversion because 2 and 1 are incomparable in the post set, so Q to the first. Here we've got 2, 1 again. 3, 2, 3, 2 counts because 3 and 2 are incomparable. 3, 1 is potentially an inversion, but 3 is greater than 1 in the post set, so it doesn't count. So we have Q squared for this tableau. Here, two and one again. Three and one doesn't count, four and one doesn't count, because those are both greater than one. So I guess that's just one inversion again. Three, two, four, one. We've got two and one, three and two. Three and one doesn't count, four and one doesn't count. So that's Q squared, and four, three, two, one. All right, 4, 3 is an inversion, 3, 2 is an inversion, 2, 1 is an inversion, 4, 2 is not because 4 is greater than 2, 3, 1 is not because 3 is greater than 1, and then 4, 1 is not because 4 is greater than 3. So we have Q cubed there. So applying the power sum trace to this cutdown listed basis element, we get 1 plus 2q, plus 2q squared, plus q cubed. Which is good, because that's that matches what we got last time when we used different tableau. The end. <laughs>